This is ice. It's pretty weak, and it's also quite a boring shape, but it doesn't have to be this way. By using silicone, you can pretty much mold any shape and pour water in it and freeze it. But that still leaves us with the problem of ice being really weak. So we're gonna fix that. To run this test, we're gonna do one box of solids and one box of liquids. Let's start with the solids. In the first cube, I wanted to put metal, more precisely, metal rods. The idea was, since construction workers are already putting metal rods into concrete to make it stronger, why wouldn't it work here? So I cut up a bunch of metal rods and put them all into the mold. Next on the list was paper towels. Why? Because when I was researching for this video, Jay Dropping Science had already made a similar video, and in his video, paper towel worked pretty well. By the way, paper towel is the only one I'm gonna use that he also used. Next was cardboard, I cut it up, put it in the mold, then dirt, because why not? After that was wood, left over from my previous project, you should go watch the video. And last was 3D printer filament, because while I was filming this, I had a print fail and I didn't want to waste the plastic. Now since the solids were done, it was time to move on to the liquids. First was salt, then dishwasher detergent, PVA wood glue, Gorilla Glue, olive oil, and last was vinegar. I added the water to each of them and gave them a good mix until all the liquids were one with the water. I then realized I had to go back to the solids and add water to that because I forgot to. All molds were ready to be put in the freezer and let them freeze. To make sure they all had enough time, I let them freeze for 24 hours. While the ice freezes, I'll be moving on to making the molds. I used a silicone mixture to create these. I mix them at a ratio of 1 to 1. I'm going to be making two shapes. These are a throwing star and a karambit knife. I won't actually be putting these into the mixture, afraid that the sharp edge would cut the silicone as I try to remove them later. Luckily, I had practice versions of both of these, so I put it in the mixture. Once they were in, I had to let them set for another 24 hours and we can move back to the ice. The ice had enough time to fully cure and we could test it. The salt water didn't freeze and that's because I forgot that salt water doesn't freeze. The rest, they had all frozen. The oil had separated from the water and was kind of soft though. To test these, I'm going to put them on the ground and use a hammer, starting with the vinegar and it felt weaker than normal ice. Next was olive oil. This one was stronger, but not strong enough. As for the dishwasher detergent, I had high hopes for this one, but it didn't live up to my expectations. The Gorilla Glue also fell apart pretty easily. I think that's because it didn't mix well with the water. And last for the liquids was PVA glue. I was not expecting this one to do well, but it held up really well. I was surprised. This one worked, so I'll definitely be using it later on. Anyways, to the solids. The metal did terribly and made it shatter in a different way than the others. As for the paper towel, it beat the PVA glue, which wasn't really a surprise since I saw that other video, but it held up a lot better than I thought it would. Considering cardboard and paper towel are made from the same thing, I was shocked when it broke. The dirt held up very well, kind of like a rock, so did the wood, but they were nowhere near as strong as the paper towel or PVA. The last one was 3D printer filament. It broke, but it didn't go everywhere, which was kind of nice for the cleanup made it quite easy. Okay, so we have our two strongest, PVA glue and paper towel. The Karambit knife ice came out perfect. It was slick, smooth, and slippery, and it was kind of hard to hold because of how cold it was. It worked just like a real one, but it was melting fast and sent water into my eyes. It kind of looked cool though, seeing all the water fly off it as I spun it. Now of course, I knew the Karambit knife was going to work. The real issue lies with when I drop it. Believe it or not, I am not the best Karambit spinner. And since it's made of water, it's very slippery and came out of my hand very easily. And when that happened, it hit the ground and shattered everywhere. As for the throwing stars, I'm not too sure what happened, but it didn't cure right. It was sticky and it had two holes in it. So I had to really quickly mix together some more silicone. This time, I'm going to be using my sharp metal stars, as the practice one had to be thrown out. Quickly, I mixed the batch together, let it cure. This one worked perfectly, and we could freeze them. The ice throwing stars look sick, but were also melting very fast. I set up a cardboard target. When I threw the star, it was very bad, but had lived for a second throw. The damage wasn't great. I had one more starter test before improving the water, but it did no better than the last. To make them stronger, I'm going to add paper towel to one and PVA glue to the other. When adding the paper towel, I have to rip it up to make it fit and squeeze as much in as possible. For the PVA, I added it into the mold and then realized I probably should have put it in a cup and mixed it with the water first. So when I added the water, I tried my best to mix it. I added water to the paper towel one, making sure the paper towel absorbed all of it. As for the Karambit knife, since I had one mold and I was curious, I kind of wanted to add both the paper towel and the PVA glue together. Who knows, this might make it stronger or weaker, we shall see. I packed as much paper towel in as possible. Before adding the glue this time, I put it in a cup with the water and gave it a good stir. Once it was mixed well, I poured it into the mold 
I was sure to take my time and double check to see that the mold was completely full. Once that was done, to the freezer they went. Once I had frozen, it was time to test them and it didn't start well. As I was trying to get the knife out of the mold, it snapped. Since it was just the tip of the blade though, I still wanted to test the rest. I started using it and the first thing I noticed was it was less slippery. I don't know if that's because of the glue or the paper towel, but it was a nice bonus. But the real test is, will it break? To test this, I'm going to drop it on the ground. The first drop went well, it didn't break, and I was confident that it could drop again, but it didn't survive the second drop. The mixture of paper towel and glue didn't make it much stronger. To be fair though, it did do better than the normal ice. Anyways, to the throwing star. I set up the target again, got the molds out, and had to decide what one would go first. I decided I'd try the paper towel first. I threw it, although it didn't do any more damage than the normal ice one, it did survive the first throw. So I threw it again, and again, and again, until the star was completely destroyed. No more damage had been done to the box, but it did hold up well. To the PBA star. Now I also snapped this one getting it out of the mold, and it looked very fragile. When I threw this one though, it did do more damage to the box, but it completely broke on landing. I wasn't done yet, I wanted to make this work, but I would only be doing the karambit knife, not the throwing star. Although they are cool, the mold is a little bit too thin for the ice to stay together. I'll be shelving this for now, but maybe in the future I'll come back to it. Anyway, both the PVA glue and the paper towel worked well, just not together. So I had to choose one. After rewatching both of them against the hammer, I decided to go with the paper towel, as it was slightly stronger. So for the last time, I ripped up some paper towel and waited. After letting it freeze for the last time, I got it out of the mold without snapping it. I set it up for the first drop, and it survived. Not a scratch on it. So I wanted to drop it again, but this time it broke. This was a real kick in the shin. I don't think a karambit knife made out of ice would actually work, or a throwing star. Maybe if I used a different shape or a different material, I'd be able to make something work. If you guys have any ideas of how I can make ice stronger, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. In the time of filming this video, I hit 1,000 and 2,000 subscribers. So a big thank you to all of you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.